Welcome back everyone. So Trading212 has released their updated website. So in future videos, I won't have to use the mobile app. In the past, I used to use the desktop app, but I stopped using it because it wasn't possible to show how the pies were progressing. But with the website update, we have most of the features available. If you are new to the channel, then do consider subscribing. And I appreciate all the new subscribers that have decided to come on board. And with that said, let's get into the video. And so this is the current state of my portfolio. The top left card shows us how our portfolio has progressed over time. And so we have the blue line, which just shows the actual account value that's averaged over time. And we also have the dotted line, which shows whether our portfolio is outperforming or underperforming. So in my case, we can see that my portfolio is just slightly under 20.5K. We have the breakdown in terms of returns, which is slightly over 2K. And we have the invested amount, which is 18,390. Within the investment tab, we can click on the different companies and have a broad summary of how the company has been performing. We can also have this more in-depth view, clicking on the advanced chart. And that brings up a similar screen to what we're used to in the past. And so some of these advanced features that we had previously, they are just a click away. And so just scrolling down, we can see a breakdown of our investment. So we've got total number of shares. And from that, those shares that are brought manually and also those that are brought within one or more of your pies. And then just clicking on the pie section, we can see all the different pies that I have. And that leads me onto the heart of this topic, which is the social sharing aspect of the pie feature. Now, unfortunately, there are some features that are not accessible on the desktop version. And so I'm having to still use the mobile. But what I wanna show you is if we scroll all the way down on the pie section, then we can click on open pie library. We can see there's all different users which have created their own pies. Everyone has different companies and you are free to copy anyone's pies. Now, what I want to call out is that if we are to copy one of the user's pies, then we can do so. But the issue here is that when we define our own percentages, it's going to weight differently to what the actual user had. And in addition, if the underlying user makes any edits to their Pi, then those changes will not be reflected on your account. So when you consider copying someone else's Pi, then you need to make sure that you are really happy with the companies that are selected and be aware that there won't be any more changes from that point onwards. In saying that, it's a really nice feature that they have this social aspect. It's great to see other users and seeing the structures that they have that can only help us individually to learn from one another. Now, when we look at other platforms, for instance, eToro, they are definitely the best when it comes to copying portfolios. And that's because we are actually copying the actual user. So when they make edits to their account, those changes are reflected. Now, what I've noticed from other users is that in general, they have a lot of companies added. For instance, the top one here, 11.33% return per year. That is a nice percentage. It shows to me that there's some winning companies within the list and some losing ones. When I see other potential gains of 120%, then these are definitely more riskier. But you can definitely use this and seek inspiration. If you don't feel like it, then you can always just define your own pies. And as a shameless plug, there's my account here. I've released several of my pies. This is the finance one. At the moment, Trading212 is ranking these based on views. Now, I suspect they'll change this algorithm in the future. For instance, it would make more sense if more people copy a given pie, then that should be ranked higher. But I'll leave links in the description if you're interested in looking at my pies. Now, for all of my pies, they are mainly focused on dividends and they are also sector-based. I still have the opinion the sector-based portfolio is much more easier to manage. There's just a natural group in and there's not many other users that are grouping based on different sectors. I can see, for instance, we have trading with CJ. So he's got a group in here with electronic vehicles, which is really nice to see. So I guess just be mindful if you're interested in focusing on companies based on sector, then go down that route. And if you just want a complete mashup of different companies, then there's definitely a lot to choose from here. So I'm really liking all these new features from Trading212. There's been a great push on their mobile and our desktop. So in the comments below, let me know what you think about the new UI changes. I'm definitely a big fan. And also the share pie feature. Will you be copying other people's pies or will you just stick to your own game plan? So let me know in the comments below. So thanks for watching everyone. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next one.